We're here with Coach Corey Cole after a 76-69 win over our big rivals in Southern Nazarene. And Coach, uh, like coming in on paper, they were 4-0 and ranked in their region, and we were 0-4. But you've played in enough of these games against Southern Nazarene to you know this rivalry is just unpredictable. Absolutely. You, you, you throw your records out the window. and We've played a tough, challenging schedule, so I think it uh, prepared us for this game. And our guys, we've been, we've been putting together good games, but just hadn't finished. So this was another good opportunity for us. It happened to be a rivalry, so our guys were up for this game. And that second half, the di for the first 19 minutes of the second half, the margin between the teams was three points or less. And our guys were locked in the second half, and we did not waste any possessions. And I know that makes you really proud. Absolutely. Our guys, the last few days of practice, guys, we've just been stressing, be focused, be locked in, value every possession. Our motto was play to play day to day. The guys did that, and we finished, and it was good to see against a good team. And we had several guys step up, make huge plays down the stretch. Um, uh, Elijah hit the big jumper with uh, one minute to go to put us up four, which seemed like an enormous yeah. lead at that point. And then he and Charles Shaw both made free throws down the stretch to, to keep us ahead. Yeah, that just that uh, Elijah's shot gave us that two possession lead, which felt like it was 10 points because you just knew that game was still on the cusp. And uh, that's a big ISO play that Elijah, he loves to be in that moment. To see him knock that down, it was just a huge shot in the arm for the whole program because we've been in that moment all season long and just hadn't finished. And it was good for us and it was our time. And although it may not show on the points on the stat sheet, but our front line, uh, Miro, uh, Will Leonard, uh, Rod Smith, um, Larry Creamy got in there for a while. Those guys managed to file out three SNU post players and that really was the difference in the game. I, I said it from the first game on, we've got depth. When we sub, we get stronger, we get tougher, and a lot of, not a lot of teams have that. Where our guys really play hard, and we knew their front line was key to this game. We wanted to go at them. And, uh, you know, iron sharpens iron, and our guys were ready for the challenge. And uh, we knew once we got into their bench, we could have a, a, a greater chance to win, and our guys execute the game plan. And getting off that schneid, and now you got a chance for a winning streak. Uh, you got Manhattan Christian coming here Tuesday. Um, a solid team, um, but you know, you're at home. Got to feel good about this. Absolutely. Any, any given day, any, anyone can beat anybody. So, again, we're just trying to get better for conference. You know, not overlooking our Tuesday game. Just every game we're trying to be 1 0. Guys are doing a good job of locking in. We'll do that on Tuesday and, and try to come out and have a good game plan ready and, and go try to be 1 0 on Tuesday. Well, go enjoy yourself tonight, coach, because you guys have earned it. Thank you.